Hey traders, this is Z. Uh, quick end of morning wrap up. Uh, this is a one minute chart and whenever we have a large gap up, you know, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Do you chase it or do you play for the gap? Normally I feel that the traders who are on the wrong side are going to get squeezed first. <clears throat> and that's what we mean when we say <clears throat> shorts had to pay up today first before we felt that we could get some kind of a turnaround. Um, in this one minute chart, uh, I like right now because it, it shows the rotations fairly clearly. And uh, it's a fast chart. Um, I don't use this as my primary chart. But when the market is uh, going to be more in a consolidation mode as I thought it might be, then I'll look to a little bit smaller time frame. If you want to look to a 2, you want to look to a 3 or a 5, all, all of them are relevant. Uh, and 5 is our primary and we can see we hit off that rain line overnight. We had that 56 that we had talked about yesterday. Make sure you're done 55, 75, 56 and a quarter. Um, I felt that would be a key in today's trading. And then overnight you wake up uh, after sleeping through it and they popped it up pretty good. So we showed the levels before that 94 to 99 high odds. So if you're into that zone, make sure you're paid. And that was based on a number of things, including um, looking at you know a, a much longer time frame, say a three-day time frame. And we can see that uh, we've had almost a 100-point run. Uh, goal of this morning was to try to dislodge these traders right back here at 95 and a half. And then now we've got a little bit of chop. So base chart right now, we're using the five-minute chart. Coming into the blue line, we've got to break into that 83 and a quarter, 82 zone for any more penetration. And it's going to take some time, in my opinion, to do that. Um, and be, being Friday, today is what we call position squaring, where <clears throat> traders who have had a great week are going to want to get paid too before the end of the day. So, two way day. Um, if you scrape something out of the morning trade, keep it. At lunchtime, maybe a little bit uh, smaller range, and uh, this afternoon, keep things tight. And using the box system, we can see that ever since this rip-roaring bounce, <coughs> had the 50 back, and then higher highs, higher lows ever since then. So <clears throat> right now the question is, uh, who wants to take some profits off the table before the day is over? That's position squaring. Um, obviously this 82 zone is going to be an important area in this box, as is right now that 94 and a half, 95 zone we talked about earlier. So brief excursion up here and then right back into this box to do some auctioning. And, and that's the way trading goes. If you're a one-way trader, usually you'll find it much more challenging in the S&P than if you are more nimble and flexible and, and looking to take slices out of the day's range and the end of day's swings. Be well. Have a great day.